Hello everyone. So let us talk about the fourth problem from the latest code forces round 760 problem name array and operations. So the problem statement goes like this that you are given an array A of n integers and another integer k that is 2k is less than n. Now what is the significance of that? 2k is less than n means that if you just transfer 2 on the left like right hand side it is actually means k is less than equal to n by 2 which means that k is less than half of the numbers of elements we have like always less than equal to a half of that okay so now we have understood the meaning of that you have to perform exactly k operations okay with this with this array in each operation what you'll do you have to choose two elements of this array let it be a i and a j uh, they can be equal also but the position should be different which means that you have to just take two different elements from this like from this array and what you'll do you remove that from the array and add a i by a j floor of that as a score to your particular score you have and then you initially start from zero you keep on doing this operation for k times so you find out a pair that is why you always extract out like pairs of that so the maximum pair you can get is n by two pairs that is why k should be always less than equal to n by two cannot make it k more than that and if k is less than n by two let's say like there can be 10 pairs and i just take let's say four pairs so all the rest of the numbers are added to the score eventually you don't have to do anything like for the first k pairs you will actually do this operation that ai by aj floor of that and add it to the score or else for all the remaining numbers you just add them now total or like the final final approach or final like objective of this problem is to actually minimize the total score just carefully read that it is minimizing the possible score now how you can do that think over that uh it's not like the two three observations are very easy to understand if you just easily guess, guess them guess them out the first observation which comes to my mind is key okay i want to minimize my score fine now if i want to minimize the score let's say that if i take out k by like k by k pairs if i take k, k pairs then what all the numbers that are remaining i will just add them now i can add that power in the hand that i will add the minimum numbers what i mean by this is if i add the minimum numbers then my score will be minimum i should not be adding or giving like more maximum number that is adding in the end after picking up k pairs, then all the numbers that are remaining, I will be adding them to my final score. Fine. Now, it is my objective to minimize my total score. So, it means that all the numbers that should be remaining after picking up k pairs should be as minimum as possible. So that the sum of that will be only minimizing my score should not be increasing anything. So, it means that I should be picking up all the least numbers. So, I, I have to actually have to sort the whole area out. So, I get one direction that, okay, let's sort the whole area out. So, let us take one example. Let's take this first example only. Uh, that is this. Let us go down to the drawing board. Okay, let us go down to the drawing board. Let us read this out. Let us paste out this thing. Okay, let us move this out. Uh, yeah, so this is the numbers that I have. Now, what you can easily understand is that if this is the number I have, what you can easily do here is that first sort this out. Okay, sort them out. So, 1, 1, 1, 3 times 1, 4, 5 times 2 and 3. Now, uh, sort them actually in a decreasing order okay decreasing order is much better okay decreasing order so three two one 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 okay now in this problem what how many pairs you have to form you have to take three pairs actually you have to take three pairs so okay you have to take three pairs so seven numbers are there actually so what you can easily say here is that if three pairs are done then i like three pairs so it means that six numbers i have to take so six numbers and i have seven numbers all together so one number will be left so I have to always like take out the minimum number that because if I take some pairs then the number that should be remaining after that should be as minimum as possible so that I will just add them I cannot do anything over that so like if the numbers are like this one two, two more one so I will just take it out so that I should form out pairs that is giving us the low most minimum number in the end that I should just add them directly because these numbers that are forming pairs are actually dividing both of them so it will be like a smaller number but all the remaining numbers are like whole numbers like they're complete numbers if you go to my point so because they're complete numbers like they will be adding more to my score and because i want to minimize my total score i should not should not be adding a very large number in the end so i should be only adding minimum numbers so adding minimum numbers which means that i just sort it out in a decreasing manner and i will first take 2k pairs now how i can form the pairs between the these numbers so i will be taking out the rest numbers that is fine now from these pairs like from these numbers, how I can form the pairs. The thing is ki, uh, I want to actually minimize my score. Okay. And I should be like, taking out the flow of that. Okay. 
if I have to form k pairs, that is, I have six numbers here. What my objective can be, if I take the two adjacent pairs, like two adjacent pairs, then it will be like, take the smaller one, two divided by three. That is one of the case that is fine. But if I want to minimize the thing, if I want to minimize the thing, let us take the largest number with the smallest number possible, like not the smallest number because the smallest number will be too extreme. But my point is, let's take the, like, let's take the largest number and take the next number that is key, key ahead of that. So let's say the number that I have is two, like three, two, one, 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 one. I have to form pairs with these numbers only like, because for the rest of the three numbers, I will be taking them directly because that is like the smallest numbers for, for these numbers, how to form the pair. My point is I want to actually map like minimize my a upon B part over all the pairs that I will be adding them. Okay. So what you can easily do here is that you take the first number that is maximum. I want to minimize this part. So minimizing means that this should be the largest part and this like this is as large as possible and this is as small as possible. Okay. So if I'm taking the largest number that is three, so I will be taking the first number because it is a decreasing order. I will be taking this number in a denominator that is three. And then I can either take this, then if I take the smallest number that is also fine, but it is like moving like this. And in the end, I will be meeting at, meeting at the middle. And middle means that these two are the adjacent pair, like adjacent number that I do not want because adjacent numbers can be too close to each other and giving us a very large number as well. But what you can do is that instead of like taking the very extreme, very small, let us take the numbers that is like the, like the first number and number that is key ahead of it. That is like this number. So what you can easily see here is that it is like a balanced of like numbers. So the first number and key ahead number, then this number and the key, key ahead number, this number and the key ahead number. So these number is the smallest number. So put that number in the, like the in the denominator and the, the larger number will be the denominator and the top number will be in the numerator and uh, you can just divide them out, find out the answers. So for all the first key numbers, you can do like this. And for all the rest numbers, you can just directly add them. That's the whole, whole score for that. I hope you get the point. So this is not too much uh, like the, this observation can be a little bit difficult to understand, but it is not too much difficult. If you just directly see key, like what is the possible way you can form pairs? Like, like there are two, three ways, like two, like you cannot take random pairs, obviously that like there are two, three observations, like two, three valid ways to take pairs. You can either take adjacent pairs or you, you can take it to the extremes or you can take key pairs. There, there are there are some there should be some pattern in taking out pairs. You cannot just randomly make pairs. So there is some pattern. I hope you get the point. So th this is one of the valid pattern that can be giving a valid answer, and that's the whole thing. Moving down to the actual solution for this problem. So you can move down to the solution part. What I'm done here is that take the input of all of them, sort them. That is sort from decreasing order. That is R begin. Then what what I've done here is that finding out the answer. Then for the first k pairs, I will be dividing the smaller number that is i plus k and dividing by a of i. So ith number that is will be the larger one. So the smaller one that is a i plus k divided by the a i that will be giving out the for, for the first k pairs and for the rest remaining numbers that is from 2k, 2 into k because the first 2k numbers will be taken as pairs. So from the index that is remaining is 2k till n, all the n numbers that we have in the array, uh, we will just add them in the total answer and just print out the answer. So that, that is just a greedy approach, nothing else. You can just directly see by taking out some examples and that's the whole explanation for this problem. Thank you for watching this video till the end and uh, thank you for li liking this video. Thank you for supporting this video. I will see you next one. Keep, keep, till then keep coding and bye.